Hello everybody, my name is Jared Jeffries, here to tell you what you can do with Wordle.net. Wordle.net is a free web 2.0 tool that allows you to generate word clouds from a text that you give it. So the first thing you do is point your browser up here to Wordle.net, W-O-R-D-L-E dot net. What you're going to do is create your own Wordle. Click on Wordle. Now it gives you three different options here. First, you can paste in a bunch of text or enter the URL of a blog, which we're going to do next. But first, we're going to do is paste in a bunch of text. So I conveniently have a document already created here with several technology words. So I'm going to copy those uh, texts. They're all separated with a space between them. I'm going to paste them into the Wordle text box text area there. And I'm going to hit go. And almost instantly, you're going to see that Wordle.net is going to create a really customized, it's called a word cloud. And uh, from this main screen right here, there are several different things that you can do to this if you don't like the way that this is laid out. Um, first of all, your fonts. You can choose from any different fonts that are listed here, and it uh, automatically previews it. You can also change the colors. Uh, if you wanted something that you might put on a website, you might put something with a black background. You might give something a little more uh, all earthy tone or anything. In addition to being able to change the colors, you, you can also change the layout. The layout. You can go for rounder edges. You can tell them to put all of the words horizontally, all the words vertically and any of these that you change will automatically be updated in your window. So we're going to choose one that we kind of like here. Half and half. We're going to pick a color here that is somewhat printer friendly. Okay, once you have your Wordle created, there are several different things that you can do to finalize it. The easiest thing to do is to click on the print button, and if you wanted your uh, to actually print off that thing, you actually could do that. But if you wanted to save that, what you need to do is output that Wordle to a PDF creator. I'm going to use PDF 995. It's just a PDF program that I had. I'm going to go ahead and send that to print. <clears throat> and that's going to print it onto a PDF or an Adobe Reader file. Once you got this in the PDF file, you're free to save that anywhere on your computer uh, for any further use down the road sometime. You do not have to go back to the Internet. Um, one other option that I want to show you you can do with Wordle would be to take a screenshot. So from your uh, Windows 7, you can use the snipping tool. And while you are actually located here on the but you can take a snip or a picture of that and that will save that file as a JPEG. The other type of Wordle creation option is to go and add a blog address, any type of website that has an RSS feed. And real quick here, I'm going to show you from my blog. I'm going to pick one of my blogs to put into a Wordle. All you do is copy your website, copy that, and you're going to paste that URL into Wordle. Hit submit, and it is going to create a customized mashup from your blog. Same options with that, though. You could save it as a PDF. You could print it how it is right now, or you can do a screenshot and save it as a JPEG. Wordle. It is an amazing classroom tool that I hope you can use in your classroom down the road. Thank you.